Lucha. We went right off the plane, right through immigration, walked out, ATM right in front of us, got out 100 sol or 338 sol, which is about 100 US dollars, and then tried going to get a SIM card and so it's $59 to get a SIM card in the airport, where it's $7 to get a SIM card in service outside the airport. So we are not gonna get it here because that's a big difference. Hello guys, we land in Lima, Peru. The first impression is that it's so quiet here. There's literally nobody here. <laughs> this is like right, exactly right when we get out from immigration, so we're gonna walk out right now we don't have to wait for the luggage because we have to carry on right here so let's see how is the first day in lima it's really nice though that like the wi-fi works in between the buildings like that in between the airport and the airport hotel because most of the time when you get wi-fi in a in an airport to get a cab you can't walk outside of the airport but I have perfect Wi-Fi standing outside where the cab pickup is, so it's very, very convenient. And I don't know, I don't know what that sign says, but it looks like they can't call you for taxi, but they're just like, they're not pushy at all. They're actually quite nice. They're just like, hey, you want a taxi? You want a taxi? But I always just trust ride sharing apps, so. We've got a driver. Apparently he parked his car here, and then he walked there to pick us up. And then we walk follow him. Te llaman, no speak English. No, it's okay. Me no Spanish, you know English. It's okay. <laughs> Still friends. Franco. Uh, <laughs> it's a... Uh, Buenaventura Aguirre. Aguirre. Buenaventura Aguirre, 3, 2, 1. Yes, Franco. Perfecto. Yeah. Perfecto. Vamos. Uh, from here to... <coughs> Our place in Barranco is about 47 minutes. 47 minutes. So it's 20, 20, 20 kilometers. 47 minutes. Yeah. Minutes. And that was about 40, 40 soul. 40 soul? Yeah, 40, 45 soul. <coughs> and can you tell us the reason why you picked to stay in Barranco? Uh, because as reviews were, it's like a really, really nice neighborhood, close to the coast and close to everything. Um, the problem we had when we were in Colombia is we were told it was a really nice neighborhood and there was like different sections. So as we were searching for accommodations, we were trying to search for specific neighborhoods that we knew were safe to stay in as it was our first time in South America and again our first time in Bogota, Colombia. So while we were doing research, we were just getting general names of neighborhoods that were safe to, to stay in and safe to travel and explore. but what we quickly realized was that each neighborhood has its separate zones and they go by street numbers so the higher the street number the more safe it is so when we were told chapanero was actually quite safe it was quite safe but not in the area of chapanero that we were in but yet say 15 20 streets down farther it was a lot safer so this time i like dove a lot deeper into the neighborhoods and uh, tried to make sure that we were in a really nice neighborhood. So there was like three different neighborhoods that we wanted to choose from and Barranco was one of them that was within our budget and had a very nice review. Plus the review on the place we're staying said the Wi-Fi is amazing, so I just went with it. Salt water. I smell the ocean. Oh yeah, we are right by the beach, Ooh. right? Is that a prison? Yes. Ah, don't take me there. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong yet. Prison. Policia? Prison. Prison. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Jimmy and I, we will freak out a little bit on the plane due to the reason that. Um, Maranguita. Prison. <laughs> Due to the reason that uh, on the plane the flight attendant doesn't give us didn't give us the immigration card, 
but then when we get off the plane and actually come to find out that you don't need to have the immigration card dude we are driving past the ocean right now yeah. what they've built like go-kart tracks and soccer fields and all this right on the beach really cool i've never seen anything like this i'd shit myself in my house is and it's scary at the same time if i have to leave up there I know. to me i think this is the first time that we actually come to this capital city of any country that has this kind of landscape yeah. wow That running girl. One minute away. Tres dos uno. A ver. Tres, tres dos, dos uno. uno. Tres. Tres dos uno. Tres dos. Yes. yes. Tres Muy dos bien. uno. Ahí está. <laughs> Jetty llamo. Muy bien, llegamos. Se terminó la carrera y me voy con otro. Gracias. 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 Finally, the traffic is not that bad on Portugal. Almost forgot my hat, my Peruvian hat. Bien. Because we will say. Okay. Yes. Gracias. Gracias. Goodbye. Goodbye. Gracias. Goodbye. Um, this kind of animals try to enter. Um, we didn't get, we didn't get a uh, SIM card yet. Oh, let me show you how, how to make it. Oh, that would wait. No, it's okay. <laughs> please, before you wish use it, please open it. Okay. Okay, okay. and okay. after you use it, please close it. Okay. okay. It's hot here. Not super Is there hot any nice. air conditioning? No, we don't have air conditioning in Lima. It's very weird to have air conditioners in the houses because there is not really hot on summer and it's not really cold on, on winter. In winter, coldest is 15 degrees. That is about 60 something. Actually, right now we are on 23, maximum 26. So it actually for houses, it's, weird, weird, it's really weird to uh, use air conditioner. Okay. okay, so we just got to the apartment. We dropped our stuff off. It's about 619. We're gonna go, hopefully the Plaza Vea is still open. It's like 0.2 miles away. We're gonna try and get a SIM card. My first impression though, guys, to me, and I have been talking about this a lot, that we feel like Barango, at least, in the neighborhood we stay. It feels so safe walking around here. Like it's totally, totally make us feel safe. And it's clean around here, super walkable. And Wi-Fi at our place is so strong. That is the benefit. I really am honestly shocked that the Wi-Fi is that good. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so good. Nine point nine souls, four mm -hmm. kilos. That's all I want. Three point five. No, three point. Three point five is what you Good to bring your passport because you're not going to be able to get a SIM card unless you have a passport. So thankfully, our landlord told us, and make sure you give yourself about thirty minutes because they do have to send a picture of your passport to somebody else so they can register it, send it back to you, then activate the SIM card, then put it in. So it's quite the process. He doesn't actually accept money, but he works for the plaza, so you pay the plaza and then he activates your SIM. We found his food of the day. Sin, I'm right here. Alright, Demi and I sit down at the door. Mario. Mario. And right when we sit down, 
they brought us this one, which I don't know what it is. Uh, no, hola, chocolate. hola. Co como? Como esto? Si. Como? Eh. Name, call. Agua de manzana. 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 Okay, now we know it's called manzana. It tastes like apple juice. It's just like applesauce. Banata? Banata. Please let me know the name below, how to spell this. It's so good. Oh my god, this looks so good. Top apple the omelette looks so fancy. It's basically fried rice with omelette on top. Which is perfect for you. Perfect. And they come? You have a whole bag of chili. Dude, but I want to try this sauce first. I don't know what it is. I'm going to try. It looks spicy. Let's see. Is it spicy? Not really, but it's got a kick to it. You're going to love it. It's so good. This sauce is so good. Wow! It's that looks so good. But taco, taco. Taco, taco. Taco. I thought it was tacos, but I'm super happy. This is like stir fry beef, onions, tomatoes, carrots, peppers with fried rice. Looks so fancy. Oh my good. That's incredible. It's like an amazing grilled stir fry with kind of like a sweet sauce on top and then instead of having like what you would normally have for fried rice it's like kind of like a potato fried rice like it, it seems like it has fried potatoes mixed with the rice I don't I'm not 100% sure and I can't really tell by the menu but this is so good That's the only one I know. <laughs> Is it on one now? 